I'm Rasha Goel with Plaza Noir. We're at the 21st annual Pan-African Film and Art Festival and it is closing night. The feature for the night, Free Angela and All Political Prisoners. We hit the red carpet to talk to Angela Davis, the social activist herself and executive producer, Jada Pinkett-Smith. Joining us in just a few minutes is Shala Lynch, the director of Free Angela and All Political Prisoners. And what about the challenge of even making the film? How, how was your experience? Uh, well, it took eight years to make, so um, part of that was raising the money. It was very difficult. When you're talking about the lead character being a woman, right, and she's radical, and she was a former communist, and there were guns involved, it, it, the story is actually a political crime drama, and she's at the center of it. And so it's not exactly the easiest story. And in a way, if I had written it as a narrative, somebody would say that that story is not believable. It's, it can't be true. <laughs> but it is. What kind of a message do you think the youth especially will be taking away from this film? Well, hopefully that history matters, that these are really important stories to know, and it's a way of learning about life. So you're, you're going to see the story about a woman who has to make these choices that are partly political, partly about her life, and how the repercussions of those choices and how she gets catapulted onto the international scene as a political icon. So what we all know is the two-dimensional flat figure, the afro, the etc. This is the story behind the afro. <laughs> Ms. Davis, if there's one message that you can send to the youth out there from this film, what is that message? That message is that we need to come together, unite, organize, fight, the fight for justice. Uh, the struggle for justice, for social justice continues. And I'm hoping that people will recognize that this film is not so much about me as an individual, but rather it is about all of the people all over this country, people of all racial backgrounds, people all over the world who joined the campaign for my freedom. You know, when this film first came to you, were you hesitant about it at all? Were you reluctant because it was about you and, and your challenges and your struggles? Oh, yes, yes. I was very hesitant. And um, many people had come to me before, and I had uh, said no, I wasn't necessarily interested. But I saw the film that Shala Lynch did on Shirley Chisholm. And it was that uh, film that persuaded me that she could do a good job in representing the whole story and not focusing myopically on, on, on my story. Jada Pinkett-Smith, the executive producer of the film, you uh, took aside your actress hat and put on the executive producer hat. How was that and what was that experience like for you on this film? Um, I've, I've done that pretty much. That's pretty much been my uh, career in the last couple of years. So um, I just think as a woman it's important to find powerful stories about powerful women and, and have them seen and have them heard. And Angela Davis has to happens to be one of the most powerful. And we all think we know Angela Davis. We all think we know her story, but we don't. And when I saw this piece, it made it even more clear to me how important it was to have this story told. What were some of the challenges you faced along the way for producing this film? You know, I, I'll tell you what, there haven't been a lot. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, we've been superiorly blessed um, in regards. I think because many people understand the importance of this story. And I think many people have been intrigued because, like I said, when you look at the piece, you think you knew. You think you knew who Angela Davis was. You think you know who she is, and you don't. And I think people are shocked to know what the real story is. You know, well, that's a great point. You mentioned real story. There are a lot of young people who are not even familiar with her name. This will be an eye-opener for yes. them. What do you think she stands for? What kind of a message will this film relate to them? You know, I really think that nowadays, even with our youth, and understanding that you gotta stand, you have to have a value system. Okay, and that when you have a value system, that builds your convictions. You know, there's something that I, I always believed. If you don't have something to die for, okay, having something to die for is what gives you something to live for. You know That's what true. I'm saying? And so, you know, and you can only get that from a value system. And you can only get that from having strong convictions about something. And so the idea of, you know, here Angela Davis had a strong conviction about freedom, a strong conviction about how people should be treated. And she stood for it and she, she suffered greatly 
you know, in a lot of ways because of what she stood for, but at the end, she made it. She rose above the ashes, and that's what it's about, and that's what a he heroine story is about, and that's what a hero story. That's what makes heroes and heroines. Thank you. And before you leave, I have to ask you, you mentioned values. How do you, as a mother, as an entertainer, maintain the values within your family and your kids? You know, it's love. It's love and, and understanding that, you know, the, the foundation of family and the foundation of my connection with my children and with my husband is about respect and love. Well, it's always admirable to see you and the family, and thank you. You look fantastic. Look forward to the film. Thank you. What an incredible night. I mean, this is what you call women power. Talking to Angela Davis, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Charlie Lynch, it was truly a remarkable experience. Remember to keep tuned to Plaza Noir, where you can find all your exclusive entertainment news.